this video I'm going to show a simple rocket mass heater design and its operation. Here is a basic diagram of a rocket mass heater showing where the burn chamber is, how the fire goes up the center stack, comes down the outside, and goes out the flue. Here is a little more in-depth version of the same thing. Uh, you can refine these quite a bit. This is the rocket stove heater. Uh, basically, it's the little guy, kind of like on steroids, I guess. Here we have a six inch burn chamber. This comes down, 90s into the center of the barrel. Six inch tube comes up, two inches from the top. And uh, it'll, it'll draft just the same as the little guy. Load your fuel into the burn chamber, light it, pulls the smoke down in, comes up top here, the heat heats the barrel, radiates off the barrel, comes out the bottom flue, and all goes out. This is a completed version that would go in a house. You can see how refined these will get, and this shows the mass that will retain the heat after the fire goes out in the bench. Here in a few minutes I'm going to demonstrate lighting the uh, rocket stove heater, uh, and the temperature in the garage now is 40 degrees. I added this little box here and surrounded the feed tube here with sand. Because at times it would burn real hot and this isn't really thick gauge stuff so it would start glowing red and if I stepped out of the garage for a few minutes I didn't want it to break off or something stupid happen and have a bunch of hot coals go out onto the floor so I put that there as a little safety feature I pretty much like this the same way as I lit the little rocket stove guy there I'll take some paper, light it, set it down in the chamber, and then I have a bunch of small kindling, get that going, and then add a little bit larger stuff. Okay, I went over here and grabbed the camera real quick so you can take a peek in here. It already has that nice rocket stove sound going. And that's pretty much how easy it is to light this. And, uh, you know, once it gets going real good, I can fill the whole burn chamber up. And, uh, I'll go ahead and pause it and let her get going, and then I'll show you guys uh, the burn chamber filled up completely. 
there she is all loaded up. It's about enough wood to burn for about 45 minutes. Now, uh, for anybody at home building one of these, if you're going to use this kind of duct work here, this galvanized stuff, for any part of this, make sure you burn it outside a couple real good times to get it to turn white wherever it's going to turn white at. Because uh, from what I've heard, the fumes that come off of that galvanized when it's going through that process are kind of toxic. And I also took this barrel and burnt all the paint off of it that I could. And then uh, once I put it together, I burnt it all together outside a couple good times to make sure it was seasoned before I brought it into the garage. And then I burn it three or four times even in the garage with the door open just to make sure. Uh, but now everything's good to go. I uh, used the base from an old washing machine, bolted it all down to that, worked out kind of nice. Just like the small rocket stove, the rocket heater uh, has excellent combustion. There's zero smoke that comes out of this once it's going. Of course, before it gets up to temperature, it smokes for you know two or three minutes, and then after that, it's good to go. The nice thing about these type of stoves or heaters, whatever you want to call it, is it's self-feeding. You just fill this burn chamber up here and then you're good for 45 minutes to an hour before you got to come back and check on it. Here in the garage I take the little blower, put it on low speed so it blows up against the barrel. Uh, I did have a heat shield behind here, which was one of these parts here to the wind turbine, which I doubled up made it twice as big. I still gotta tweak a few more things before I put it back out. But uh, I had that shield behind here so now I gotta find something else because this barrel does get extremely hot and you know this wall does get pretty warm back here. But if I keep the blower on it, it seems to be okay for now. Just won't leave it alone too long. Oh yeah, there it goes. You've just seen it. Some of the wood uh, fed itself down in there. Now, if this was going to be inside a home, I would recommend, you know, using a lot heavier gauge steel. You'll see a lot of guys' videos where they use good, like, quarter inch or eighth inch plate steel, weld everything together, zero air leaks. Uh, but this garage has no insulation. There's plenty of fresh air that gets in here no matter what we do. So even if there is a couple small leaks here, I'm not worried about it. She's been burning for about ten minutes now. You can see we've ate up probably about a third of the wood. Everything seems to be up to temperature and you can hear nice the rocket uh, the rocket sound everybody talks about from the air moving down and burning. And in that 10 to 12 minutes, the temperature in the garage has come up 10 degrees. We are about 25, 28 minutes into it. There's a good shot. Temperature is almost 60. So yeah, that is a really simple version of a rocket mass heater. Thanks for watching.